Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at rate limiting your Express app. So I found this really easy library to do this and it's called Express Rate Limit. And today we're just going to be taking a look at how that works and how you could set that up for your own Express app. So the first thing you want to do is of course require an Express and then of course also require an Express Rate Limit. After that, you set up your application like normal. So just like any other Express app. And then we can define a limiter. Now, a limiter is something you put before your path or you can use it on your entire application. So you can actually define different limiters depending on whichever path that you want to rate limit. So let's say account creation, you could rate limit that more than viewing your account. So you can, you know, really customize the way that your application is uh, controlled in terms of rate limiting. The way the rate limiting system works is that you define this one up here. This is 15 minutes. So you could of course change this. And this here is the max connection. So it means that your IP will be limited to 100 requests per window millisecond. And one window millisecond is 15 minutes. Next, we can apply this here. So there's a few different ways of applying it. One way is to just put it as a um, middleware. So this will just be ran on all of the path that this express server exposes. Or you can actually put in a path here and then it will only rate limit that. And then the last way we can actually use this is that we can actually just pass it in here. So I passed in the rate limiter here. So in this case, we wouldn't need this line up here because we are adding it down here. So we have this basic hello world. So let's try just testing out this application. And let's open a browser. And navigate to local port 3000. And if we just keep refreshing this here, you can see this is not going to trigger the rate limit because it's set quite high. You would have to do quite a lot of requests to get banned, but the HTML will actually change in here once you hit the limit. But let's try to adjust this down so we can actually hit the limit. So let's say one request per one second. We should be able to hit this. So let's restart our server and just try to refresh. There we go. So you can see when you hit the rate limit, this is the message you will get. Now you can customize this message here. And the way you do that is just pass in message to do this. It's just passing the parameter message. And here you, you would just write whatever you want the message to say. So if we just want it to be a smiley face, then we can also have that as well. And if we quickly restart our server, you can see that we get a smiley face instead of the other error. But let's take a look at one more example. So I've just quickly gone ahead and added another path and it is an account creation path. And you can see down here, I limited for five requests per one hour. So that means that you can request five times your account creation per one hour. So that's probably a pretty realistic rate limit. You don't want one IP address to create more than five accounts per hour. So if we just go ahead and run the server here, and if we navigate to this path here, you can see I now reset this. So now we can't hit this anymore. This is just going to act like normal. But if we navigate to account, this path will actually be rate limited and it's even with a custom message. So you can see we can refresh this and we're going to be rate limited. But if we go back, we're not going to be rate limited because we're not rate limiting the home page. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.